Alright. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a safe start of my engine in order to build the pressure up to 120 pounds. Transverse is in neutral, parking brakes are pulled out and my clutch is all the way in. I'm gonna give the engine a little bit of gas in order to build the pressure up faster. Take us up to around 11 or 1200 RPM. So my pressure is built at right around 120 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and turn the engine off. I'm going to turn my key on. And I'm going to give my gauge cluster a second to kind of synchronize here. I'm going to put my truck in low gear so it doesn't roll on me. And I'm going to release my parking brake and my trailer brake. I'm gonna give it a second for that initial drop in pressure. And now I'm gonna hold my service brake for one minute. I shouldn't lose any more than uh, four pounds in that minute. Um, so I'll push the brake first and then start my timer. And I'll just kind of wait out the minute, make sure I don't lose any more than uh, four pounds. All right, so my minute is up. I didn't lose any more than four pounds. Um, there are no leaks. Now I'm going to check my low pressure alarm. I'm going to pump my brake. Just before the pressure drops below 60 pounds, my low pressure light and alarm should turn on. So, all right, so my low pressure light and alarm are working um, before the pressure drops below 60. So now I'm going to go ahead and check my spring brakes. I'm going to keep pumping my brakes between 20 and 40 pounds. My parking brake and trailer brake valve should pop out. My spring brake should engage. My spring brakes are working and my valves popped out between 20 and 40 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and do another safe start in order to build the pressure back up. Um, while I'm waiting for the pressure to build, I'm going to do an in-cab inspection. Starting on my left side, my mirrors are adjusted correctly for my height. They're not cracked or loose. Uh, my steering wheel is secure. Uh, it's not got any more than 10 degrees of play. My city horn or electric horn is working and my highway horn or air horn is working. My left indicator, right indicator, hazard indicator, and high beam indicators are all working. My panel light is working. My oil pressure gauge is working uh, between 25 and 50 pounds. My water temperature gauge is working. The temperature doesn't exceed 200 degrees. My tachometer, my RPM gauge is working around 800 RPM right now, it rises and falls. My speedometer, I'm going to go ahead and check later. My fuel gauge is working right around a quarter tank. And my two pressure gauges are working and building toward 120 pounds. Um, my valve covers here are not cracked, loose, or missing. My insurance and registration are inside this little compartment here. My heater and defroster are working. Uh, my driver area is clean. I don't see any debris, uh, grease, or oil. Uh, under my passenger seat here, I have four pieces of equipment, three emergency triangles, a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, and spare bulbs and fuses. My rear window is secure. It's not cracked or loose. My cab light is working. Um, my vehicle height is 12 and a half feet, and my combined weight is, 20, is 43,000 pounds. My seatbelt is secure. It's not cut, torn, or frayed, and it buckles. And my seat is secure and it's adjusted for my height. Um, and that should be everything. So now I'm going to go ahead and check my parking brake. Uh, so I'm going to disengage my trailer brake. By the way, I have near 120 pounds, which is good. That was my governor valve and uh, it, it's, it opened around 120 pounds. So in order to check my parking brake, I'm going to release my trailer brake. I'm going to go ahead and put it in low gear. And I'm going to let the clutch out slow until I feel a little bit of tug. If the truck doesn't move, I know the parking brake is working. All right, cool. Truck didn't move. Parking brake is working. I'm going to check my trailer brake now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my trailer brake and release my parking brake. And again, I'm going to kind of tug against that brake and make sure we don't move. My trailer brake is holding, didn't move, so it must be working. I'm gonna go ahead and check my service brake now. I'm gonna pull forward around five miles per hour and come to a complete stop.
this brake is working. My truck didn't pull to the left or right. Um, and my speedometer is working. Uh, so I'm done with my inside inspection and I'm ready to do my outside inspection. Cool. Headlights and hazard lights are working. They're the right color. They're not loose or missing. My windshield is secure. It's not loose or missing. Uh, and it's clean. No illegal stickers. My wipers are secure. They're not bent or broken. My hood, grill, and bumper are secure. They're not cracked, loose, or missing. My license plate is secure and clearly visible. Underneath my truck, I don't see any leaks or hanging hoses. The truck is not leaning toward the left or the right. Cross view mirrors are secure. There's no missing hardware. They're not bent or broken. Um, and my heavy vehicle safety inspection certificate, my vehicle registration, and my safety diesel emissions inspection certificate are in place. And I'm in the department. So I'm going to pop the lid off here. Right, you got it. Pop it here. Hold it. Reservoir is secure. There's no missing hardware. Uh, it's not cracked or leaking. The cap and hoses are present. They're not cracked or leaking either. And the fluid level is in normal range. My air conditioning compressor is secure. No missing hardware. Not bent or broken. Hoses and fittings look to be in fair condition. Again, not cracked or leaking. It's a belt driven component and the belt's in fair condition. It's not cut or torn. It's got no more than three quarter inch play. Um, and um, yeah, so my alternator is secure. No missing hardware. Not bent or broken. The wiring coming off the back end isn't frayed or loose. Um, and it's also belt driven and in fact uses the same belt as the AC compressor. My alternator is, uh, sorry, my eight, my water pump is not visible, but it's not leaking. Um, and it uses the same belt as the alternator. Okay, so quick review, coolant reservoir, AC compressor, alternator, water pump, yeah? Now we'll move around to the other side. Oil dipstick is secure, um, not loose or missing. In order to check for oil, I would remove the dipstick, clean it, put it back, take it out, and make sure that the level is in normal range. Um, my power steering fluid reservoir is secure, not uh, loose or missing. Uh, the, uh, the fluid level is in normal range and the cap and hoses are tight. My power steering gearbox is secure, no missing hardware, not cracked or leaking. Hoses and fittings are, are in fair condition. My steering shaft is secure. Not bent or broken, no more than 10 degrees of play. And the U-joints are secure, not bent or broken. My steering linkages are secure, not bent or broken, not loose or missing. And my pitman arm, drag link, upper control arm, and tie rod are secured properly with their castle nut and cotter pin. My power steering pump back here is secure, not loose or missing, not leaking, and gear driven. My air compressor right nearby is secure, not missing any hardware, hoses and fittings are secure, and also gear driven, just like our power steering pump. The frame is in fair condition, it's not bent or broken, and there are no legal welds. Uh, and that's our engine compartment. So now I'm gonna move on with our suspension. So leaf spring, spring mount, and U-bolts are secure, not bent or broken, no missing hardware, and the leaf springs aren't scissoring. My shock absorber is secure uh, at the top and bottom, no missing hardware, not cracked or leaking. My brake chamber and brake hose are secure, um, not loose, missing, or broken. Uh, the hardware is present and there I don't hear any leaks from it. My ABS line looks to be in fair condition as well. My slack adjuster and push rod are secure, not bent or broken, no missing pins here, and it's got no more than one inch of play. My brake drum and lining are secure, nothing stuck in there, uh, no grease or oil, and the lining is at least a quarter inch thick. My tire's in fair condition, no cuts, bubbles, or tears. The tread is at least 4 30 seconds of an inch, and it's inflated to at least 80 pounds. In order to check the pressure, I would use a tire gauge with my air valve here on the outside. My rims in fair condition, no things broken or missing. My lug nuts are secure, not loose or missing, no silver lining to suggest they're super loose. And my axles, sorry, my hub seal is secure, no missing hardware, not cracked or leaky. And my air valve is capped and secure. Splash guard, secure. Uh, not touching the ground or tire. Moving on to the B straight away. Mirror bracket, secure, not bent or broken, no missing hardware. 
door handle is in fair condition, not bent or broken. Oh. <laughs> Let me um, open it from the other side. Uh, yeah, so door handle, not cracked or loose. Door opens and closes freely. Door hinges are secure, not bent or broken. And my handrail is secure, not bent or broken. Steps here are bolted to the fuel tank. Um, no grease or oil to get to slip on. Fuel tank is strapped to the frame. The straps are in fair condition, not loose or missing. Cap here is tight. My battery box is bolted to the frame, not loose or missing. I don't see any battery acid leaking out or anything and the cap is secure. Um, moving on. Now, I'm gonna come back to the coupling after we finish everything because everything includes the coupling, right? Um, so we'll leave that for now. My steps and catwalk are in fair condition, no missing hardware, no grease or oil to slip on. Frame is in fair condition, not bent, broken, or welded. My air tanks here are strapped to the frame. The straps aren't loose or missing. My drive shaft is secure, not bent or broken. The U-joints are secure, not bent or broken either. My muffler and exhaust are strapped to the frame, no missing hardware, um, not cracked or leaking. My header board is secure. No holes or missing rivets. And now I'm gonna go, to, you can mention your air dryer, not super important, but we can go ahead and mention it. It's, it's bolted securely to the frame. It's not bent, broken, or loose. Um, and we're gonna move on to the suspension, the same suspension we've just done, but we're gonna repeat it here at the rear, right? So my leaf spring, spring mount, and U-bolts are secure, not bent or broken, no missing hardware, and the leaf springs aren't scissoring. Shock absorber there in the back is secure at the top and bottom, not cracked or leaking. My brake chamber and hoses are secure, not bent, broken, cracked, or leaking. Um, the slack adjuster and push rod on the back end of the, of the uh, brake chamber is secure, um, not bent or broken. In order to check for slack here at the rear, I would have to chalk the wheels and disengage the yellow parking brake. Um, my brake drum and lining are in fair condition. Uh, no grease or oil looks to be stuck in there, and the lining ought to be at least a quarter inch thick. My Tires are in fair condition, no cuts, bubbles, or tears, no abrasions. The tread is at least 2 30 seconds of an inch, and they're properly inflated to at least 80 pounds of pressure. To check the pressure, I would use a tire gauge on my inner and outer air valves. My uh, in-between space here is, uh, it doesn't have any debris. My inner rims are touching, and the spacing between the tires should be normal. My rims, fair condition, not bent, broken, or missing. Lug nuts secure not missing or loose or excessively rusted and my axle seal here is secure no missing hardware not cracked or leaking my mud flap secure not touching the ground or tire and back here i can see that my tail lights and hazard lights are working they're the right color they're not loose or missing my t um, license plate is secure and clearly visible and my air suspenders are secure not loose or missing all right cool so that's our b excluding the coupling just like a, that was our a excluding the coupling so we're going to run through c real quick and then we're going to come back and finish the coupling and pay special attention to that because we're always going to do it no matter what right so the trailer uh the clearance lights are working they're the right color they're not loose or missing um the trail is in fair condition no holes or missing rivets my reflectors are in the correct place and they're the correct color and i have most of my reflector tape in the correct orientation here on the side as well um my header board, I'll mention as part of the C as well, which I mentioned to B. So a header board being the front bit of the trailer here. Secure, no missing hardware, no holes either. Um, my landing gear assembly is secure, not bent, broken, or welded. Um, the cross members along the bottom of the trailer look to be in fair condition. They're not excessively rusted. And my landing gear shoes aren't loose or missing, and they're fully raised. Now at the back here, I'm going to repeat that whole suspension thing, only there are some slight differences between the C and the rest of the suspension. So we still have our leaf spring, spring mounts, and U-bolts, just like always, which are secure, not bent or broken, no missing hardware. Um, but now we have torsion bars. So the torsion bar is secure, not bent or broken, also not missing any hardware. Um, the brakes, mostly similar. So brake chamber and hose are secure, no missing hardware, um, not, no audible leaks. The slack adjuster and push rod coming off the back is secure, not bent or broken. In order to check for play, I would have to chalk the wheels and release my trailer brake. Um, my drum and lining are secure, nothing stuck in there. Um, the lining is at least a quarter inch thick. And we got some extra air tanks back here, which we can inspect. Uh, they're secure and they're not audibly leaking. And we also have the tandem release lever, uh, which allows us to disengage the rear axle and move it forward or backward. 
We're just gonna mention that it's in the locked position, it's not loose or missing, and all of the pins should be engaged. Um, and that's a little distinction. So the, the suspension is slightly different in the sense that we have the torsion bar instead of the shock absorber. The brakes are almost identical, except for the fact that we have some extra air tanks and don't forget your tandem release lever. Even if there isn't one, go ahead and mention it um, in order to get credit for it. Uh, so say if it were equipped with one, you would check it, right? Um, and the rear tires here, nothing stuck in between them. Uh, the spacing is normal. The inner rims are touching just like our B. For air condition, no cuts, bubbles, or tears. Tread at least two thirty seconds of an inch and properly inflated to at least 80 pounds. You would check with a tire gauge on both your inner and outer valves. Rim is in fair condition, no uh, bends, brakes, or welds. Lug nut secure, not missing. And axle seal secure, no missing hardware, not cracked or leaking. My rear mud flap is secure, not touching the ground or tire. And here in the back, here's the back. I have my clearance lights, my clearance lights, tail lights and hazard lights are working. They're the right color. They're not loose or missing. My rear door is secure, not loose or missing either. Um, and it's locked. My, uh, and I've got some reflective tape along the back as well. My hinges are secure, not bent or broken. My bumper is secure. There's no grease or oil. My license plate is secure, clearly visible and illuminated by the plate light. And that's it at the back here. And if we walk the other side, everything should be the same. The only thing I wasn't able to mention was the crank handle, which is only visible from this side. So my landing gear crank handle is stowed away. It's not bent, broken, or loose. And the landing gear is again fully raised, yeah? And that's our A, B, and C, okay? Almost done. Last thing we're gonna do is the coupling. So, My red emergency line and my blue service line are secure. There are no kinks, there's no leaks um, that I can tell. Um, the fittings are secured correctly to the tractor. I don't feel any leaks. And the glad hands are properly installed to the trailer. I don't feel any leaks here at the fittings here uh, either. My electrical line is plugged in at both ends. It's not cut or torn. There are no loose wires. And all cables have enough slack that I'm not worried they'll be torn when I turn. Um, my hitch release arm is in the locked position it's not loose or missing and we'll get underneath here my apron is securely uh, connected to my skid plate there's no visible gap and they're properly lubricated my kingpin is securely uh, 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 my lock jaw are wrapped around the kingpin there's no visible gap between them and they're properly lubricated my fifth wheel is securely mounted to my mounting platform, um, and my mounting platform is securely mounted to my frame. There are no missing mounting bolts between the platform and the frame. My pintle hitch is secure, not loose, missing or broken, no missing hardware. And that is our coupling. All right, Okay. so that's it.